when we started planning the Information Age Gallery, we knew that we wanted to tell a story about mobile phones in a developing country. So we spent some time researching to see where was very interesting, and Cameroon was one of the countries that popped up. We knew that we really needed some expert help. So we started approaching Cameroonians who live here in London and got their input into deciding not only what objects we collected, but how we displayed them and what stories we told. It was like a workshop where we talked about the phone itself, where the phone came from. We talked about how the phone was used. We looked at a number of themes, and based on those themes, we decided that it would be good to have something historical, it would be good to have something current, hence the call box. I mean, to call it a call box is actually a misnomer because it is not a booth that you walk into and make a call. Call boxes first came about because in Cameroon, mobile phones initially were very expensive. So it took someone with some backing to set up a call box business. So this is a place where there's a mobile phone that could be accessible to members of the community. For example, if someone was abroad and needed to call Cameroon to get in touch with a relative, that relative could go somewhere where they pay for receiving that call and for a fixed period of time. This would have been mid-90s, thereabout. As time's gone on, mobile phones have become more inexpensive, so the role of the call box has changed a bit. They were used more for people to buy top-up credit. Some of them do a bit of mobile phone repair on the side. Others might sell fruit or general groceries. So they've really expanded into a more general kind of business. We knew that we absolutely had to demonstrate this in our gallery. So the first thing we did was look for some really good examples that we could purchase from business owners in Cameroon and bring back to the UK to help tell those stories. So Emmanuel's call box, the one we're putting on display, is a really interesting example. It's a very colourful, bright object, but it also tells the history of call boxes because you can see how it started out as a small box and it's been added to over the years. The call box itself is sort of an embodiment of his life as a result. He was really happy to sell because it meant he could invest something back into building something new for himself. We took it to pieces, lots and lots of pieces, so that we could flat pack it and get it back to the UK. So I spent a lot of time running around making notes on how on earth we were going to put it back together and labelling bits up. And those notes, even though they'd been hastily scribbled on a piece of paper, they actually proved invaluable to getting the whole thing back together. So for us, it was the opportunity to document something which was our experience that would actually take a space within an institution like the Science Museum. It was a good thing to, to be part of that process and, and, and to capture a bit of time for, for posterity. The story we're trying to tell is really one about entrepreneurialism and about how people grab any new technology and shape it to something that suits them and works for them. That's really what we're hoping visitors will get from this, is that sense of the inventiveness of the people who are working with mobile phones in Cameroon.